Build this strategy to wipe everything off your current point. It don't matter if you have a collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, child support. It don't matter what you have. Once you implement these five steps, you're gonna be able to knock the credit bills out. But hold up, before I get into the step-by-step -step play, hey, February 18th, 2022, September 20th, 2022. Hey, I released a few videos showing you how to use the FCRA laws plus the CFPB to knock the credit bills out. Hey, and the results been going crazy. People begin a deletion after deletion after deletion. Scores increasing by 50 points, 100 points, 200 points. Hey, results been going crazy. But however, some people haven't been getting results and we noticed that. So guess what? We tested something new and we found the exact strategy to be able to knock the credit bills out in the next 14 days. So make sure you pay close attention because step one goes to step number two and step number two goes to step number three and step number three goes to step number four and step number four goes to step number five. So make sure you pay attention to all five steps so they're able to knock the credit bills out. Step number one. Hey, the first thing we gotta do, we gotta set the credit bills up. Now, how do we set the credit bills up? And hey, we're gonna use this few Panda, right? We're gonna use Dispute Panda. Now, if you don't have an account with Dispute Panda, go ahead and create your account. Now, after you create your account, go ahead and log into your account and go ahead and create your profile, right? Now, once you create your profile, you can't use the same email. So, you gotta use a different email. Now, once you create your profile, now what you wanna do is click on the Documents tab, right? Now, once you click on that Documents tab, guess what? You wanna upload two forms of identification. You wanna upload your driver's license and proof of residency, right? Now, once you upload that, now what you wanna do is import your credit report right now how do you import your credit report what we want to do we're going to use credit dino right it's a one-click import now if you don't have an account with credit dino hey the link is in the description for that so go ahead and create your account and go ahead and do that now if you have other credit monitoring just watch the watch the, watch the training that show you how to import your other credit monitoring now after you do all that guess what Everything's gonna be uploaded, all your negative accounts and all everything on your credit report is gonna be uploaded into the software. Now, after that, what we wanna do now is click on disputing, right? Now you're gonna be see, you're gonna see all your negative accounts already selected. So all you gotta do is click on save filter. Now once save filter comes up, now you're gonna be able to do your first attack. You're gonna be able to set the credit bills up so we can knock them out, right? So now once we click on the attacks, the first attack we want to use is the nerve attack, right? We want to use the nerve attack and we're going to be able to dispute all accounts and we're going to be able to do, while well, the nerve attack, we want to do Supreme Boosted, right? Click on Supreme Boosted. Yes, you have to pay a little bit of money, but it's okay, right? Because guess what? What's $17 to actually get you $100,000 in available credit once you knock the credit bills up, right? So what we want to do is set the credit bills up with um, the nerve attack. So once everything's ready, once everything is created, here's what we want to do now. It's time to mail them out, right? So we want to click on the yellow button that says mail them out. And we want to mail it to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, right? And we want to do it certified. So this leads into step number two, wait 30 days. Dave, hold up. I've been listening to you and you said 14 days. Hold up, Alexa, being all disrespectful. What I meant by the getting results in 14 days is leveraging the CFPB and get results in 14 days. But the best way to get results for the CFPB is having supporting documentation, right? So this is why we want to set them up first. We got to set them up first so we can get the investigation to come back and we have official documentation showing how they lied and we're going to leverage that. So that's what I meant by that electric being all disrespectful. Hey, so let's get into step number three. As we wait these 30 days, what we want to do, we want to add positive trade lines to our credit report. We can do self, we can do credit card, we can do Tomo credit card, we can do rent reporters, we can do rental karma, we can do Kobo, we can do Perpay. Hey, just pick one or two accounts and watch your credit score blow up. Step number four, we waited our 30 days. Our investigation should have came back. Now two things might have happened, right? Either the account got removed, which is good, or the account said updated, verified, everything was 100% correct. Now, we know that was a lie, right? So here's what we want to do. We want to go ahead and grab our credit bible, because we're about to get into the word really quick. I'm about to basically show you these laws so we can knock the credit bills out. So let's get into the word. 15 USC 1681A2, I mean A4, right? We're going to go to A number four, right? And basically what that says is that A, according to your rights, right? There is a need to ensure that the consumer reporting agencies exercise their great responsibilities with fairness, impartiality, and a respect for the consumer's right to privacy, right? Hey, you have the right to privacy. Now, let's flip to the verse 15 USC 1681 BA2, right? And what does that say, right? In general, subject to subsection G, 
any consumer reported agency may furnish a consumer report under the following circumstances and no other. Whew. That's a that's key words in accordance with written instructions of the consumer to whom it relates. Hey, so you're probably wondering what does that mean? Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, and all those other snitches. We ain't gonna talk about the other snitches. Can't furnish nothing on your credit report without your written instructions, right? I didn't say it right. Hey, this law said it right. So what we want to do now is not only leverage those two laws, we're going to leverage 15 USC, 1681I, number five, and you already know, we're going to use that, 15 USC, 1681, S-2, and also we're going to use a few other laws to knock the credit bills out. So pay attention now, because I'm going to go through the CFPB and walk you through the process so you can slap them boys. So the credit bills lied on the official document, so here's what we want to do. We're going to leverage that lie plus the loss to knock the credit bills out. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. So first thing you wanna do is Google CFPB, right? Google CFPB. Now once you Google that, go ahead and click on the link, then click on start a new complaint, right? Once you click on start a new complaint, here's what's gonna pop, it's gonna tell you to create an account. Now if you already have an account, go ahead and log into your existing account and click on start new complaint. Now once you do that, click on credit report, then click on credit reporting and then hit next. Now here's what should, now here's what should happen. A screen should say, hey, which one do you do now? Let's click on problem with credit reporting. Then you wanna click on their investigation, then it fix the problem, right? Now what you wanna do is click on next. And I'm gonna show you how to write up the law, show you how to write up the complaint so you can knock the credit bills out. So let me basically walk you through that real quick. Hey, now it's time to write up your complaint. It should look something like this. You should be on the screen right here. So what happened? So what we're gonna do is talk about what happened. I'm gonna have the write up in the description, but you wanna modify it to your liking, right? So first things first, what you wanna do is put is um, accordance with the Fair Credit Report Act. Now read along with me. The list of accounts below have violated my violated my federally protected consumer rights, privacy, and confidentiality under 15 USC 1681, right? I told Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax to reinvestigate these accounts, right? account name and account number. So what you wanna do is put all your negative accounts, put the account name and account number, of course, switch it out, what the name is, and the number is on your credit report in the speed panel, right? So, however, they stated everything was complete and accurate, but how is that possible if the open date, date last activity, and much more is incorrect? According to 15 USC 1681 I-5, they're supposed to modify accounts that isn't reporting correctly, right? Or delete it. 15 USC 16, 81 section 602 states that I have the right to privacy and the 15 USC 1681 section 604 section two it also states that consumer report agencies cannot furnish account without written instructions right and I'm not going to go over all of them but as you can see I got the codes right here and you can go ahead and read them you can go ahead and check them out yourself but 15 USC 1681 S-2A1 a person shall not furnish any information related to a consumer reporter to to consumers, to any consumer reported agencies that the person knows or has reasonable cause to believe that the information is incorrect, right? Also, they aren't even in compliance with Metro 2 credit reporter. I have evidence to prove my case, right? So all you wanna do now is, if you wanna publish it, you can publish it. If you don't wanna publish it, you don't. But the fair resolution is delete these accounts below um, and put the account, the account name, account number, all the accounts that you want to get deleted right and then attachment documents go to dispute panda download those letters that you sent to the to the credit um to the credit bureaus which was expand trans and equifax just download them and then what you want to do is upload them right here and then once you upload them all you're going to do is just click on next and it should be your personal information and then just hit submit and then just wait. And now it's just time to wait. See, that process was pretty simple, right? But one of the questions I always get is, Dave, how can I work with you and your team? Continue watching this video because I have a special offer for you. After taking thousands of free consultations, I know there's two things that hold people back from getting over a 700 plus credit score. Number one, you haven't implemented all the things that I teach on a day-to-day -day basis. Number two, you haven't joined my 700 plus blueprint personal digital program. I guarantee that you will see your results in 90 days or your money back. The average person that have gone through this program has seen crazy results. Nobody has never gone through this program and haven't seen results yet. 
The reason why is because we hold you accountable. We tell you which letter to use. We tell you which law to use. We tell you what to say when your accounts come back verified. We also show you how to write up your complaints with the CFPB. We also have the private chat feature so you can never be confused. We also have coaching calls so you never can be confused. We want to make sure this is seamless as possible. We want to make sure this is easy as possible. We want to make sure you help you build up your credit profile so the banks can be begging for your services. And if you want results like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, make sure you schedule your call right now because guess what? We have limited spots. And I want to make sure and help you and make sure you get everything that you need so you can build up your credit profile and get everything you want and get leverage so you can get income producer assets and pay you like clockwork. So if you want something like this, if this is something that you're looking for, make sure you schedule a call right now because we only have limited spots. All right, I'll see you on the call.